Hello everybody. Today we're continuing to explore the collection of Panther Car brochures that I got from Elvis Gonzalez. Last time we looked at a bunch of these Crown Vic brochures for 07, 05 and 04 year. Today we're going to be looking at a Mercury Grand Marquis collection which actually contains a lot more beefier and more brochures in general. Uh, starting us off with this 2001, interesting how it's, it's the only brochure I think I've seen and it's the only one in the collection that's not glossy. This is like regular paper. Not not very good quality. Uh, kind of weird, like a photocopier type of deal. So it's interesting how... Oh, there's the cat again. There's the cat again. See, he's a brochure cat. Every time I film... <laughs> every time I film these, he, he always hangs out here. So I don't know if it's the smell of paper. Here. Here, cat. Here, smell this one. No? Okay. All right, well, he gave his, uh, <laughs> and then now he's stretching. He gave his paw of approval. All right, back to the show. Anyway, so yeah, it's a rare thing not to have glossy paper on the cover. Ooh, and, and look at this. Look, look. Now, I'm not ripping on the brochure as a whole, but just on the, on you know, I mean, somebody made this decision. Look, it's like it fades away, like, like it was on a on an inkjet printer and like the, the ink was kind of like it started printing from the bottom to the top and then it kind of ran out of ink i don't know once again I'm, I'm assuming this was intentionally done but uh it just makes it look very strange one look at the at the 2001 mercury grand marquis and you'll see a perfect combination of luxury and performance well i wouldn't call it a performance vehicle for sure there's a cat again uh but <laughs> i guess it's it, it is uh, a good car i do love them and anyway uh yeah so we're continuing this this very odd i think what happened was i i know what happened somebody down at the mercury had like a new um like a design like a marketing guru that, that there were probably like a bit maybe they were on the older side but then they wanted to be hip so they wanted to do things differently, including cutting off, you know, a good two thirds of the vehicle on top. It just looks weird. Everything is like blue too. Like the car is silver. You got blue everywhere. What's the point? I don't know. And here you got like the shaded squares. Anyway, I, I should stop thinking about these things. Um, all right. So this is a Mercury Grand Marquis LS in silver frost, clear coat metallic shown with available equipment. I'm guessing it's all the same car, so they're kind of saving money by just focusing on one car, just taking a lot of different pictures with it. All right, here we go. All right, we, we got out of the blue category. Now we're in the dark category. Once inside, you'll find ergonomic, supportive, and luxurious seating surfaces with optimally positioned safety belts. That's important. Because if you don't have optimally positioned seat belts, they're either going to kill you or choke you or, or just do worse than if you don't have them. So anyway, easy to reach instrument panel, standard four speaker audio system. Uh, all right. Yeah, so I always found this very interesting, especially on the Crown Vicks and the, ground, and the Grand Marquis, is the lack of storage. Like you have this giant sedan, which is very comfy, very nice, very, you know, premium, right? Not luxurious, because that's the town cars category, but but premium. You know, you even have the piping on the seats. I don't think I've ever noticed this before. I know I didn't know that that it had piping on the seats. And everything is is nice. Where is the storage? Well, I mean, what do you get as a storage? You get a little door pockets there. You don't have an armrest storage, which is weird. Uh, you had an, what the, the the ashtray thing that the, the the cup holders that pulled out. Like, there's no storage in these cars. So I don't know where the luxury is or people who like luxury cars don't have to carry. Obviously, a ton of space in the trunk and they're definitely, you know, pushing this point on. But, you know, they didn't think of that through. All right, got the engine. Okay, the good old fashioned 4.6. We all know and love it. <laughs> is this really necessary to advertise? <laughs> also the key with the remote. I don't know. Okay, here we go. The dimensions all right so 220 horsepower you have the gs and the ls and i don't think oh there it is okay i was gonna say where are the packages so you had the premium package you have the ultimate package you had the handling package and the personal safety 
system, although it's not a package. Um, so let's see. So what did the ultimate from the premium package? So it includes all the premium packages, but you get anti-lag brakes, traction control, digital cluster. Okay. Wow. That's not a lot of difference between the premium and the ultimate, really. I mean, really, they're going to throw in the traction control? Eh. And then the ABS brakes. I understand. I definitely understand that this is 2001. I get it. But it's interesting how safety is part of a package. Just weird. All right. Anyway. All right. Going back to here. So 2003, you know, different styling, different, you know, front, I guess. And I think interior is a little different. So this is the last, you know, the last gen, the last revision whatever you want to call it very nice like i love this shot like i love filming my my town car from like this from like the ground level up and they have this very high-tech building behind Ooh, look at this beautiful shot absolutely nuts and it's an lx premium okay so going through the city uh same building i'm assuming cat Oh, there we go. Okay, 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 okay. I love this shot. I have never, I, I have, by the way, I, I did not like look at these brochures prior to filming. I want to capture my natural and, uh, and unscripted uh, experience. So yeah, wow. I love this steering wheel. I absolutely do. I wish my town car had that steering wheel with the little buttons. I don't like the, the, the redesign. I mean, I like it, but why did they rob us from like the little bottom wood? And the little buttons with all the extra controls. All right, you have the wood. You still have the digital stuff there. Very nice. Adjustable pedals. You have that. A little climate. And the little clock there. You know, I'm guessing Mercury never really... I mean, unless we're talking really old Mercury. They never really had, like, the analog stuff. They always had the little digital one from the more modern times. All right, so you have this, you have the seating once again, very little storage, but you have the little pieces of wood peeking through. Nicely done. The technology, the, the engine again, very nice. Spark plugs, Grand Marquis spark plugs are platinum tip for longer life. All right, little pictures of safety once again. Uh, very strange. <clears throat> excuse me shot although why wouldn't they put a sunroof like don't you want to showcase your best and, and brightest vehicle but no sunroof and here we go again you have the gs ls premium lse what does lse do oh so it's a five passenger okay so it was like the e for i don't know for what it okay so you had the floor console shifter so it's almost like the um the sport was the lsc package which i'm guessing was really um really rare and the ls ultimate badging i love when manufacturers put badging unique interior and exterior badging it's like well if i'm gonna buy this ultimate stuff like don't include the badge like the badge is not <laughs> something that I, that you know i should like desire it should just come with it so anyway all right here's that oh and then look at the look at the collection you have the collection from back then cougar sable grand marquis villager and the mountaineer i like the mountaineer not so much the the villager or the sables i drove i drove sables too cougars i don't think i ever drove cougar but all right going along here so it's interesting also that in 2003, so check this out, they have two brochures. So I was nice enough uh, to, re well, I, I'm not nice enough. Actually, Elvis was nice enough <laughs> to send me both of these, all three, but they're different. So it's it's weird. Um, yeah, very strange that in the same year, you would have two different styles of brochure. So this is nice, nicely done. All right, more of the same. So quiet, so smooth, so powerful, so spacious. You will leave. It will leave you wondering why you ever drove anything other than a Mercury Grand Marquis. Very nice. All right, once again, same building. So they, I don't know if they did like in the beginning, beginning of the year. Oh, you know what? This one is November of '02, and this one is April of '02. So this one came in first, and then they must have updated. Although. 
it's weird how they would put the same thing twice but they've used like well they've used very similar location to to shoot this i guess different color or maybe one marketing guru left and then the other one arrived all right same thing but here they are doing a different shot of the interior like that with the wheel with the had the little bits and pieces of wood i always like how the grand marquee had the name grand marquee somewhere in the dash and then the town car didn't uh not really sure why like why couldn't we get this like lincoln town car like somewhere written out on the on the wood portion don't know all right same same deal same deal very nice digital uh dash wood wheel all right they got a green one this time Ooh, love this shot and it's good that i got all these i i had very little mercury stuff uh so definitely love to have this for the collection so thanks once again for sending over all right they are reusing the shot from before just on a little different content and once again no sunroof all right once again driving away all right and then you got the little bits and pieces you know i wonder here is the sunroof like one of the options even hmm you know what i don't see a sunroof in here anywhere limited package no radio no seats tire trunk no you know maybe these things never came with a sunroof i mean correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but I, at least at a, at a glance i didn't see anything in here so okay all right we got a thinner one here we got a skinny one coming up here this, this is an old four. 